everybody, I'm Marnie. Today I'm going to be giving you a real and raw review of what a delivery is really like from a first experience. I have never done this before. I grew up sailing and cruising with my family, but to be honest, I was never, we were never the type of family to do overnighters. We'd usually stop into a marina or a quiet bay. So I haven't done a whole lot of overnighters and I have no idea how I'm gonna cope with it. So I wanna take you through what it's like to do a delivery on board a catamaran, in this case, the Lagoon 42, tell you about you know stability, sleeping, seasickness, all the ups and downs of what a delivery is really like so you can make a decision if you really wanna do this too. So we've been traveling along for a couple of hours. We're currently motor sailing, but I think that the wind's about to pick up and we're about to start sailing. But I just wanted to check in with you guys and tell you that I think I found my favorite place on board and it's this beautiful little sunbed. I've got amazing views out here and easily turning to get that extra wind in my face, which is definitely important when you're starting a trip. I've found that especially under motor, if I'm downstairs for a bit too long, I do feel a little bit, not seasick, but just not 100%. So I think that when you are doing your delivery and you're just starting out, it's definitely important to come, have a good spot that you can look out to the horizon, get that fresh air, and definitely as soon as I come up here and do that, I feel 100% better. I'll check in with you soon. Wake up in the morning in this great blue state. Golden fingers caress my face. Slips through the window on a silky breeze. A dreamer's life to plant some seed. Okay, I obviously haven't just woken up, but I just wanted to check in with you in my cabin. Uh, tell you about how last night went because we had our first night. To be honest, I didn't do a whole lot of filming because it's pitch black out there. Um, we have a really small moon at the moment, which means that it's very dark, but it means incredible stars. And I wish that I could capture that for you because that is definitely my favorite thing about sailing and uh, being out at night on board a boat, especially when there's absolutely no light pollution whatsoever. There are just so many more stars than you could ever expect. And that is definitely the highlight so far of the trip. Um, I coped way better than I thought that I would have. I had the shift with John Kaup 9 till 12 and 3 till 6 and we were blessed with an incredible sunrise and to be honest I got a little bit of sleep before the 9 p.m. shift and we just sort of relaxed, kept our eyes out and I was fairly awake. The three till six was definitely the harder of the two but having that beautiful sunrise is makes it totally worth it and I was really surprised I slept pretty much all the way from 12 to 3 and then from 6 to like 10 30 which was my bad whoops sorry Nikki and John slept in on you guys a little bit uh, but they're off to sleep now and yeah, so we're just um, motor sailing again. The wind was pretty gusty uh, overnight, which was a bit of an experience getting up to 14 and a half knots, but then it's just died down. So we've got the motor back on, which is never ideal through the night, but we're very lucky that from 12 to three, we were just sailing and it felt smooth and I felt so comfortable, especially on the catamaran. It's incredibly balanced you can barely feel anything it's almost like you're just getting rocked to sleep which i absolutely loved i didn't feel seasick overnight at all just before i went to bed i'd come down a few too many times and i felt like uh, i wasn't 100 percent again but as soon as i closed my eyes and fell asleep i was totally fine i will check in with you shortly
boat is sailing along now and it is absolutely stunning. It's been flat and we've just had lunch. We've had steak and sausages. Nikki is at the helm here. Say hi. Hi. A few times yesterday as well as this morning, we had dolphins jumping off the bow and just 10 to 15 dolphins enjoying like chasing us on the boat and just sitting here and enjoying watching them has been one of the best experiences so far on the lagoon and it's just one of those things you can't without having a boat and being able to spend a lot of time on board you just don't get to see this incredible sea life my favorite being the dolphin so this is definitely the best place for that Good morning, we're making really great time. I didn't really give you an update yesterday, but it was an awesome day. Flat, not much wind, but super relaxing, uh, easy going, felt amazing the whole day. Um, overnight, uh, John and I did the 12 till three. So we did six till nine, 12 till three, and now we're up for the 6 a.m. shift again. We've got the sails up now, which is super calming. We're going through Newcastle. There's quite a few cargo ships as they usually are, just dodging them, but really feeling awesome. A little bit tired, but we'll be in shortly. And um, yeah, I guess I'll give you the, an overview uh, wrap up once we get into pit water. back in pit water everybody's pretty excited we've done this in record time it took two days we placed bets at the beginning and we thought that it, we would be getting back uh, at around 4 p.m today and that was with a earlier takeoff time by about three hours so we've really outdone what we thought that we would as for first experiences doing an offshore trip like this Obviously, we were, I was lucky to be eased in with a nice two-day trip uh, to overnight. I got a little bit of rest today and felt really great most of the time. All I would say to anybody that is about to embark on your first journey like this, um, any overnight stuff and if you don't know how you're going to cope, definitely I would say try and stay off your phone listen to music or podcasts instead if you need to spend minimal time down below and if you can have a little rest up up top it's it's really fun though i've really enjoyed my time very relaxed not actually excited to get off the boat to be honest and have to go back to normal life thank you for joining me on this journey if you did enjoy my review of uh, this Lagoon 42 offshore, my first delivery experience. Uh, please give this video a like and do subscribe because we do lots of videos like this. Maybe not so many people will be doing their first delivery experience. Most of the team are very experienced in this, but um, hopefully we can do some more and hopefully I'll be invited to join on some other adventures. See ya.